Devin Haney and Ryan Garcia made it on to ESPN's first take, and now you know that the promo is a little bit different for this fight. Love to see it. They were both on there, and I get nothing but confidence from Devin Haney. Um, he called out Ryan Garcia for following behind Floyd Mayweather, listening to Floyd, and Ryan admitted that Floyd got in his ear, told him that the better move is to fight Roley first, to fight Devin after. Uh, Ryan basically said on first take that Devin Haney, they tried to tell him that Devin Haney is not that big of a draw. And so Devin said, well, if that's the case, then why are you telling people that you're going to make more money in this fight than you did in the fight with Tank Davis? And Ryan was like, no, 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 I'm trying to give you credit in this and that and et cetera, right? But overall, they have a score to settle. They both fought each other uh, six times, three and three in the amateurs. And um, I think that it was fitting that Ryan came and sat in the crown, in the throne, in the king's throne, while Devin sat in a regular seat. And Devin's been undisputed already. Ryan Garcia has never won a world title. He's never fought for a world title. And he sits next to Oscar De La Hoya and Bernard Hopkins, who are two legends in the game. And so Ryan puts his seat at the table or, or takes his seat at the table as the king amongst all these fighters who have accomplished more than he has, right? So I know he reads a lot of scripture, but, you know, I think that he should be humble and not exalt himself because I think he'll be taught a lesson really soon. I don't see any confidence on him. He looks like he's very, um, he's trying to sell this fight. He's trying to make as much money as possible, which is a good thing as prize fighting. But uh, Devin Haney seems to believe that he might retire Ryan, that Ryan may not want any more boxing after this, after two big, big paydays with Tank and Devin. And um, I love that Bill Haney pushed Ryan Garcia and asked him, what did Floyd tell you? What did he tell you? Did he tell you how to beat us? You know, uh, is that what he told you? Did he show you how to beat us? And Ryan was like, nah, 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 nah. And he was very tight-lipped about what Floyd told him, as he should be, right? But uh, they questioned if he really seen the tape, if he really seen the video. Devin's like, Floyd wouldn't do that, that type of thing. I think people forget that Devin and Floyd have a good relationship, right? Because they, they follow him with Bill and Bill joking on Floyd and stuff like that. But Devin is basically a student of Mayweather University. He came up under Floyd Sr. at that, you know, and then Floyd Jr. as well. Zab Judah is his godfather and, you know, Zab and Floyd go back and so Devin's, you know, I don't think people realize that Floyd is probably on Devin's side. Remember when Devin was training with um, with Floyd and Tank got mad. You know what I'm saying? That was when Tank didn't want to train in Vegas. He wanted to train wherever he wanted to train. And then Floyd basically popped out with Devin working on the mitts and stuff like that. I mean, he's been working with Devin. But I remember Tank had a certain reaction to that. So uh, overall, I was glad to see them on first take. You know, we didn't get anything that we really don't already know, but it's great promo for the fight. And uh, April 20th is going down in Brooklyn, New York. Not really sure why Ryan continues to step on the product. Look, man, the fight is in Vegas. I mean, the fight is in New York, right? So I don't know why he keeps mentioning Vegas. Um, that, that, that doesn't help you at all. You know what I'm saying? Focus on what you have on your fight poster and promote that. Say that this is the best place to fight, uh, even though we're not. New York kids, we're both from California, we're, we're national, you know what I'm saying? We're not local, we're not held down by states. We can go anywhere and sell out anywhere, but for whatever reason, he's stuck on this Vegas thing. Maybe he'll feel more comfortable because there's probably a bigger Latino fan base in Vegas, but there will be plenty of uh, Latinos, I'm sure, in Brooklyn, but there also will be plenty of black folks in Brooklyn as well. So I think uh, Devin is embracing it as he should, many Fighters have come through there or are from there, have fought there. And uh, Ryan did not seem to embrace that. And so to me, uh, everything is already in Devin's, you know, it, I'm just getting Devin. This is a Devin Haney, basically, uh, uh, I don't want to call it a coming out party, but, you know, Ryan is a big name in the sport. He showed that when he fought Tank Davis. And for someone who can't fight Tank next than Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia is another name to check off. I don't think it's a 50-50 fight. Uh, Bill Haney believes that 
Ryan will be done in five. Uh, I might take Devin in seven. Don't really know. Might just, you know what I mean, play it by here. But let me know what y'all think in the comments. It's the baddest brand in the lane. Champs are.